the traditional rulers of Ifon and Ilobo have agreed to give peace a chance. Well, this followed a peace accord signed by the two at a meeting held at the instance of the state governor, Boyega Uyetola. Rafiu Hamid reports. For many years, Ifan and Ilobu have been at loggerheads over land disputes. The crisis led to the death of some people in 2005 and was later resolved. But the crisis seems to be rearing its ugly head in the last few weeks, which is now creating tension. This peace meeting is at the instance of Governor Boye Gawetola. It was attended by the State Commission of Police and top government functionaries. The traditional rulers later signed a peace accord. To tell my community, inshallah, there's no problem in Ilobo and Ivan again now. From having signed a VABA undertaking with the Excellency and the entire people of the two states, there is no going to be any loss of life and property any longer. Be rest assured. Violators of the peace accord will now be dealt with accordingly. But I must commend the KBSCs for giving peace a chance. With all result that we need to maintain peace. They'll be appealing to all the subjects to ensure there's peace in the area. And I want to say this that um, whoever foments trouble henceforth will be dealt with. The KBACs have resolved that they will settle whatever differences amicably. The State Commission of Police assures of adequate security in the areas. Uh, we are also equally engaging the, uh, the leaders of the two communities to let them know of the implications of resorting to self-help and uh, resorting, resorting to violence. And that the law will not just be there idle and watch them uh, uh, cause uh, destruction. In the peace accord, it was stated that none of the two communities should lay claim to the disputed land for now, while all farmers who had been sent away are enjoined to return to their farmlands. Having signed a peace pact after their meeting with the governor, which lasted for about three hours, it is hoped that residents of both communities will now live harmoniously. Rafiul Hamid, TVC News, Ushubu.